Backstage at the San Jose Center for the Performing Arts, a group of young musicians prepare for their next performance. They're members of the Firebird Youth Chinese Orchestra, also known as FICO. They range in age from 9 to 17. I play the pipa, and it's usually known as a Chinese lute with four strings. My name is Kathy Zhang. I play the da ran and the san xian, and I've been in FICO for five years now. All the musicians play traditional Chinese instruments, many of which date back to ancient and imperial Chinese civilization. With just 13 musicians, founder and artistic director Gordon Lee started FICO in 2000. Today, the group has over 100 musicians. They perform classical Chinese compositions and new arrangements throughout the Bay Area. While Chinese instruments are centuries old, playing them together in an orchestra is a relatively new art form. In 1935, the first Chinese orchestra was founded by Gordon's mentor, Chen Ji Lu, in Nanjing, China. It brought the sound of Chinese music into a new era. Born in Beijing, Gordon was a pipa player. During China's Cultural Revolution, like so many artists and intellectuals, he was exiled to a so-called re-education farm under Chairman Mao's orders. Despite the hardship, he managed to play music when an opera group needed musicians. I started composing and conducting at that time. Gordon studied with Chen Ji Lu at Sichuan Music Conservatory in the early 70s. Years later, Chen would give Gordon clear marching orders. But he said, you should go to America, and you should organize a Chinese orchestra. You, you should develop the Chinese music. I have no, no sound, but he just had such a feeling. <laughs> that his word is still just sound like yesterday. <laughs> The Firebird start from a, a private studio, music studio. And when these students get together, uh, especially after the Mulan, Disney movie Mulan came out, many Chinese girls, yes, or not only Chinese girls, I think everybody uh, falls in love with that movie. And the Chinese music, Chinese image get in increased. I listen to the the Mulan music, dun dun da, dun dun da, dun dun da, dun dun da, this is the middle part. And I adapt that theme to uh, compose uh, four movements, Chinese orchestra piece, about, uh, about 15, I got 15 or 16 minutes, that long. But all these students just love that piece, love that music. Just after one performance in Cupertino, all the musicians, they decide. From the orchestra. That's just naturally born. When I play, I feel really free and powerful because I can make whatever I want. I was feeling really stressed, and I just went to my peepaw and I started playing a random tune, and I did lots of improvisation on the way. And so I converted all my stress into music. Part of FICO's mission is to keep Chinese traditions alive by teaching young people how to play Chinese instruments. Every weekend, students attend music classes on the San Jose City College campus. Most of the students go on to play in the orchestra. What I want to do today is let's go over the old part we played before. Then let's check out the homework, I mean, which is the next part. Then we see how far we can go, okay? I am a uh, strum instructor, which is a plug instrument. So I teach pipa, uh, ruan, and gu zheng. I think for me, the most challenging thing is um, to help all of the students to overcome the frustration from learning this instrument. For example, one of the frustration, uh, like how to get relaxed, as you have to get relax first and within this relax 
then you find the strength. I was always really proud of playing my instrument because the sound of one plucked string of the daran could match the sound of many other little instruments, so I always felt that I was one of the strongest instruments in the orchestra. Chinese music can be described as having many points played along a line. The multiple staccato notes must be played and strung together to create the melody. So that is why pipa is so difficult, but it's because of the point. Same as other plug instruments like gu zheng or ruan. And this is for solo, it's probably not that hard. You just work on yourself. But when you put all of these individual together, it's so many points and you have to play at them at the same time. This is very difficult. Ready, go. Learning Chinese instruments is not only for them to master playing Chinese music, but also for them to learn their cultural heritage. Uh, all of the faculty students, they are the first generation or second generation of Chinese immigrants. And they are very curious about their ancestors' tradition and custom. Their parents wish the young generation could know more about the mother country's uh, music and culture. And the faculty is doing such a wonderful things. It's like open a window to enrich the young generation's world. In 2004, the People's Republic of China invited FICO to perform with three of its top music conservatories. FICO traveled to Beijing, Chengdu, and Shanghai. It was the first time a Chinese orchestra from the West had performed in China. The group had a chance to play music with other young musicians and tour historic and cultural sites. FICO is one of the connections I have to China. I really don't have that many mediums back to the Chinese culture because I've lived here all my life. And it's good to be connected to your culture in some way. Break time for FICO resembles one big extended family get-together. Parents make sure their musicians are well-fed, especially while rehearsing for a show. For the show at the San Jose Center, Gordon gives his group last-minute instructions. Make your sound project all the way to the end of the chair. They'll perform a classic Chinese piece called General's Command. It will be a collaboration with Shaolin Temple USA monks performing martial arts. This music is very famous for a lot of Chinese people because it used in like a martial arts movie. It has own discipline, which made by Gordon Lee. They're learning team spirit and respect, and they were carried with them the rest of their life. <laughs> 